in the country which was behind the Iron Curtain, but it helped me in the moments when things were dark or I couldn't understand them to draw whatever I wanted. My, my father made a film, Met Dalai Lama, was in this incredible country for him. When he came back, he couldn't really speak about some Buddhas and stupas. So I became like the recipient of all his stories. He was a great storyteller. And every night he would tell me stories about people with uh, fish with human faces or flying. For me, it was a connection that there is some bigger world out there. My dream was to go to London. That was much closer than America. And, and my dream was to... Uh, to meet with Beatles or Rolling Stones, so it sort of happened. In 1982, the Czech government sent Peter to Los Angeles to produce a film for the 1984 Summer Olympics. When the Eastern Bloc decided to boycott the games and called him back to Prague, Peter took his chance, seeking asylum in the United States. It was just very hard for lots of people who grew up in the communist countries, I think, because we were brought up like one of the biggest no-nos or sins was like, you never do leave your country. In his adopted home, he turned to illustration, a career that would lead to more than a thousand illustrations for the New York Times, as well as virtually every leading magazine. He has done many public art commissions from his Manhattan whale and the New York subway system to his tapestry honoring Nelson Mandela that greets travelers at the airport in Cape Town, South Africa. Peter's picture books, and in so many ways his own life story, stand as testament to the importance, the vital need for intellectual freedom. We all see the world in a certain way, so I think some bird eye views, maybe the desire to travel and not to have passports and not to cross borders, that you can see things from a certain perspective. When Peter published The Wall, Growing Up Behind the Iron Curtain, the late Václav Havel, president of the new Czech Republic, said, Peter Cease's book is most of all about the will to live one's life in freedom and should be required reading for all those who take their freedom for granted. <laughs>